So I've already talked a little about the extend walls upwards button. You specify a structure with more than one story in your model. At some point in the modeling process, it is going to be necessary to click this button to extend the structure up to the stories above. So I have a few recommendations for when to click this button. The first recommendation is to save your model directly before and directly after under using different names. This is because you can only press the, this button one time during the modeling process. So you should always save it before and after to, in case you ever need to go back to your previous model, in case you ever need to go back to the point before clicking extend walls upwards. Typically for small two to three story structures, I recommend to press the icon once the perimeter of the structure has been established, but before you've drawn all any interior walls or openings. For larger two to six story structures which have similar details on each story, I recommend establishing all the interior walls and openings before extending upwards. This way each story will automatically be copied to the stories above, which will save you time in the modeling process. So let's look at an example we've already talked about. For this two-story structure, I would recommend clicking extend walls upwards right after you've established the perimeter of the model. In smaller structures is not a lot of work to go in and adjust all the interior walls and openings after you've clicked extend walls upwards. Once again, this tutorial, uh, there's a example tutorial of this structure in the user guide. What about this structure with the irregular floor plan? For this one, it would be best to click extend walls upwards after drawing all of the walls and openings which are continuous on each story. Now, I want to discuss different behavior which occurs when utilizing multiple structural blocks that vary in number of stories. Looking at the same structure we, we just discussed, let's look at two different situations. On the left, the two structure blocks used to establish the shape of the structure have the same number of stories. Now, on the right, let's say the top story is not continuous over the area uh, on the left of the structure. So you have two structure blocks specified as different number of stories, three and four. Back to the situation on the left. Before clicking the walls, extend walls upwards button, if you were to draw all the interior walls and openings, when you do click the extend walls upward button, all the details you've drawn on the, on the first story will be translated to the stories above. But for the situation on the right, where you have different structure block heights specified, the details will not be extended upwards uh, when, you extend, when, when you click extend walls upwards button. So just be aware of this. If you specify different structure, blo uh, structure blocks with different heights, any details you have specified on the bottom story before you click the button will not be uh, translated upwards.